We should say that printer lights are the values for the red, green, or blue, and it's 1 to 50. And that gives you an idea of where your exposure is. What, yeah, what's so needed. You, would, you would kind of choose how you, where you would want your printer lights, mm -hmm. for instance. I, my, my light was usually a little high, so I would print around 27 or 30. But then on some right. films, I would print in the 40s because I wanted a specific look. And right. so, you know, you just kind of judge where that number goes. But if you don't have that, as you say, how do you, especially if you're overexposing deliberately by a couple of stops, how right. do you know that you've not gone too far when, if you don't have a lab report, you know, if you were shooting yeah. film. But then I think yeah. still, if you're shooting digital, it's very hard to understand exactly where your exposure, exposure is on the file, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, exactly. That, that's why I came up with the EL zone system. Right, right. Because I was a, interpreting, I went, when I went to the digital world, I was at a loss. Like, I'm not going to depend on a DIT to tell me what I should know. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I applied the analog idea of what exposure was based on 18% gray. I mean, it was Ensel Adams. It w wasn't like I right. was so brilliant. I just figured, can you figure out what 18% gray is on a sensor? And obviously it's different between Aerie or Sony or Red. 